Testing, testing. This is a sound check for the microphone. Testing, testing. This is a sound check for the microphone. Oh! Testing, testing. This is a sound check for the microphone. Testing, testing. This is a sound check for the microphone. Hey, I like that. I like that. Y'all, I got a new microphone for this alleged podcast that I said I'm going to get going. I don't know when, but it's definitely given 2024. We're going to kick off this podcast. But I got the Shure MV7 mic from Best Buy. And this is what the mic looks like. I really, really like it. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so far. And you just plug it in in the back of the microphone and then you just plug it into your laptop. And the mic just kind of operates on its own and you kind of like set up the app that comes with it and you adjust your settings and you're good to go. This mic has also also really helps improve my voiceovers on Instagram for my living alone diaries. I've honestly just been loving this mic overall. Really I'm here in my office space today on this lovely Friday because I am getting an astral cartography reading from someone that I've been following for a long time on Facebook and Twitter. So I'm really excited to see what some of her insights are for me in different states. So yeah I'm about to go ahead and hop on this call and then we'll do a recap. Good, how are you, Shadonis? First got into astrology, I wanna say way back in 2018. I was going through a really, really tough time and I was honestly just looking for just some guidance and some comfort. But for astral cartography in particular, I learned out about it um, after I had moved from New York and relocated to Los Angeles for a job offer back in 2020. That was kind of like my intro and kind of like trying to figure out why does LA kind of almost feel like hell for me in comparison to the life that I had in New York. So ever since then, I've just been so fascinated with it and really just trying to understand it more on a deeper level and now looking at the relocated charts. One thing I noticed is that Mars, and what I love too about Mars is Mars shows us how we can get things done. It's the house of words that I love to call it. Yeah, I feel like the shifts have, they've been kind of intense to say the least. I think my Chiron might also be um, in Libra. I feel like a lot of the romantic kind of encounters that I've had that haven't really um, ended too well have definitely kind of like shown me ways that I need to either be more gentle with my inner child or how to reparent my own inner child. Those deep-seated like wounds that I'm not like really trying to address due to fear of like confrontation. So there's definitely like that Aries push that's like, okay girl, we can't keep harping on to this anymore. We gotta find a way to do what's best for us. I feel like when it comes to just like traveling for myself or like a vacation, I've actually like never done that for myself. 2024 is definitely the year that I'm manifesting that I travel a lot more, not focus so much on work. I feel like having a Mars and Virgo work is like the center of my world and I don't know how to kind of like separate work from having fun. <laughs>
Hey bookies, happy Saturday. It is going on at 3.30 p.m. I just took a nice soothing hot bubble bath for my period cram. In good old menstrual cycle fashion, I'm gonna go get me some unhealthy salty food because that's what I'm craving. So I'm gonna go get some Chick-fil-A and then I'm gonna go and get my nails done. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Do you have a name for your order? Amani. Amani, what can I get for you? Can I just do a medium fry with Chick-fil-A sauce and a um, small lemonade with light ice? Yes, that'll be all. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm also going to see the Beyonce movie tonight. I will not be dressed up in my sparkles, no makeup. Not tonight, unfortunately. Not tonight. Like, I just don't even like going to the movie theaters with makeup on. I just feel like that's so uncomfortable in so many ways. Like, I can't even, like, slouch over, rest my head or anything because I'm going to get makeup on my clothes. Who wants that? Not me. These are my nails, y'all. They're lifting, and this is a thumb that broke off, and this is the pinky that broke off. So, as you can see, like, I do have good length on my nails, but, baby, it don't make no sense as to why my Jetlex nails should be popping off like this. And then a couple of them are starting to like lift underneath, but you see that? And so when I be doing my hair, my hair be getting caught up under there and I don't play that mess. I am gonna get my hair done again, a bone straight for Christmas. Um, so my Christmas plans this year are to actually go spend time with my biological mom, upstate New York and see my cousins, see my brother. It's been a hot minute. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. So yeah, that is my plans for Christmas to go spend time with my mom side of the family. As you guys know, I want to say two vlogs ago now from this one, um, I was talking about um, really just like healing um, the trauma and the connection with my parents and I feel like a good place to start will be with my biological mom just because there's been so much lost time between us um, as I was growing up and now until adulthood so I think it'll be really nice to kind of just like spend the holidays and just be with them enjoy their company kind of catch up all the things she's really excited for me to come down I'm gonna get her to cook and get in the kitchen um, and my presence is a gift mm -hmm. no I'm kidding she did tell me what she wanted for Christmas so I'm going to get her what she wants for Christmas. Now I'm off to the nail salon. And I'm excited to get my nails done because, baby, it's time. Y'all, this Chick-fil-A lemonade. <sighs> this is crack. Crack. Literally sugar in a cup. <laughs> I should not be drinking this in my period. I should be hydrating. But you know what? It's not gonna hurt me. I mean, it is gonna hurt my cramps, but it's not gonna kill me. <laughs>
body aches. Awesome. Did you take some? Um, I'm about to take some of the um, acetaminophen. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm about to take some of that right now. We'll have to call me tomorrow. Hopefully the body aches are gone, but we'll see. Alright. Alright, I'll be you. I'll be you too. Alright.